we'll start with where we were last time. So this is this is what we went through before with this kind of rectangular bottle, with some markings on it, a few variations. And so this was the first rework of that design. Hey everyone, it's James from Active and I'm here with James Casey, our lead industrial designer here in our studio in Toronto, our design kind of testing area. And one of the products that we get asked most about is the foam cannon and when are you guys going to come out with a revised foam cannon. So today we're going to talk about where we are in terms of its development, give you a little bit of transparency into our process and kind of what goes into it and just really answer questions that we've been receiving online and talk about, you know, again, where we are and, and, and how this kind of works. So the biggest feedback we've gotten from the different channels has been they want a clear bottle with measurement marks. It's got to be a durable bottle resistant to falls and corrosion. They want plastic on plastic cap with a click remove option instead of threading. They want to be able to put it on the floor without it tipping over with the gun, full and empty sell extra bottles and potentially pre-mix different solutions and a weighted ball at the end with a flexible straw. So those are examples of the feedback that we get and or things that we see from other foam cannons online. I think you want to explain some of the things that you've been going through on this? Sure. We'll start with where we were last time. So this is, this is what we went through before with this kind of uh, rectangular bottle some markings on it, a few variations. This was the first rework of that design. And so here I was trying to address uh, stability, the ability to look, see inside it easily. Um, we'll have some clear markings as well to, uh, to measure the ratios. And, um, and then overall, like a larger capacity. Kind of overdid the larger capacity. This is, we did a 3D print and this is how it turned out. It's very big. In the end, it turned out to about two, a little over two liters. Uh, that's a lot, that's more than anyone needs, but that's why we, we do this step. And as well, it, it had some, some gripping issues. It, it was pretty easy to slip out of your hands. So I went back and I uh, reworked the bottle and came up with this one. Now this has become some intense debate here at Active HQ, whether this is easy to hold or not. I say it's not bad. I say it's hard to hold. I mean, I think sometimes when we're designing product, there's always obviously the functional aspect of it. There's the aesthetic aspect of it. And then of course, you know, then you try to try to imagine different people in use cases. Mm -hmm. I myself find it difficult to hold or somewhat slippery. And then you can imagine if your hands are wet because mm -hmm. they will be washing a car and there's soap Yeah. and it's heavier because it's got fluid in it. I just think, I personally think it's a little bit difficult to pick up. Yeah, so we'll, so I'm going to be looking again at, you know, perhaps we'll flare it, flare the bottle out here. Um, but there, there, there's a number of little fixes we can do to help that. But the main goal with this bottle was obviously smaller capacity. And this, this is about one and a half to 1.3 liters. So 1.3 liters, we've measured it out. It could be a little bit bigger. I think we were kind of targeting one and a half liters. But the main thing is that it's stable. So I've designed it as a kind of a tripod shape so that when your gun is attached to it, you've got the hose, you've got everything, you can sit it down on the table, on the floor, full or empty, and it won't fall over. So that, we're on the way with that one. The other points of interest, we're, we're in the process of re-engineering the whole mechanism to produce, I think one of the points we didn't mention yet is that really beautiful thick foam. Yep. So that is, but that's a given. We will not go to market until this thing produces beautiful foam. Other points here about the shape, the feel, the grip on the nozzle, the knob as well. Tying it in with the short gun aesthetic and then as well with the 2.0 and just in our overall active family design. 
Right. So, I mean, again, it, seemingly simple product, but we're trying to be very thoughtful and intentional with the design, uh, how customers use it, what you guys have said about it. Um, as JC pointed out, um, we haven't really talked about materials and functionality and how we're going to deliver foam and ease of use and different spray patterns and, and so forth. Um, we're definitely thinking about all those things. Um, so I think this is probably close to the final round of, call it, iterations in terms of design. And let us know if you have any more feedback or questions or comments after you've seen this design and we'll try to incorporate them into the final product. So where would this go from here now? Yeah, the, the next steps will be, we'll, we will receive, I'll, I'll rework the bottle, that's for sure. So that's job number one for me. We're, we're still awaiting the revised mechanism, the, the whole nozzle, everything. So that again needs to be checked. Um, how does it work? Are we getting the foam we want? And then just the ergonomics, the feeling of the knob. Nice. The feeling of the nozzle. Mm -hmm how the spray patterns, the, the quality of the straw, is it weighted properly? Are we drawing up the right amount of fluid? And then other things like, I really want to figure out the best way to, um, to measure your uh, chemicals. So if th maybe there's, there's an answer out there, um, but I know some people do mix 10 to one or five to one or three to one, and maybe there's a simple graphic on the side that says, okay, 10 to one, mix your water up to here, fill up your chemical to there. I feel like that would be a very simple thing. And so you got, maybe this is three to one, and so up to here to there, and so on. I want, I want that to be super clear. Very as, cool idea. As a uh, mixing, as well as a standard, you know, 10 milliliter, 20 milliliter, blah, 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 all the way up to 1.5. That's bottle work. There's nozzle. I, uh, but I do feel like aesthetically, we're very close. Ergonomically, we're also quite close. Uh, we just got to get the thing and start testing. So obviously our target would be for the 2024 season to have the product. And um, as JC said, we're close. So stay tuned for our next and hopefully final update before we go to production. Thanks as always for watching and if you have any more comments, please leave them. And thanks for your support. Thank you.